Hey there YouTube, it's Nathan Fry here and today I want to talk to you about this little trail camera, the Primos Proof Cam 1, and this one happens to be the second generation. I also have one that's the first generation. Now this portion of the video is going to be sort of my review of the product, how I like it, how it functions for me, there's going to be some sample uh, pictures and videos, uh, as well as going over some of the basic features. If you're interested in more of a tutorial where I go through each setting of the camera and sort of how it works, uh, then look, check the description box down below for a link to another video that I have that goes through all the settings. Let me just start by saying for years I used an old uh, Moultrie trail camera that used like six D-cell batteries and every time I had to go buy those batteries it just would eat me up. Those things were so expensive and so heavy and the trail camera was so heavy. And as that camera started to fail, about a year ago, my wife got me my first Primos Proof camera. That was a Generation 1. This year, I got another one for Christmas, the Generation 2. I love these things. As a full disclaimer, let me just say, I have not used a lot of very expensive trail cameras. I do not have a lot of experience with a ton of different trail cameras. I'm just giving you my opinion and review on this particular one and how I feel it functions for me. One thing I like about this trail camera is the price. Now, if you go on Amazon or some different places, you will find that this camera is sometimes listed anywhere from 70 or 80 all the way up to $125. However, Dick Sporting Goods and Field and Stream, which if you don't know are the same company, uh, they often have on their websites over the last year and a half that I've been watching, rebates. And if you're willing to mess with the rebate, you can get these for as low as $30 or $40. I've even heard of somebody who got a rebate that got this for as low as $25. Now, in my opinion, for $25 or $30, this is a steal. You have to be a little bit patient, wait for those websites to have the rebate, and then you also have to go ahead and send in the rebate to get it for that price. Uh, this camera, as you can see, is very small, fits in my hand. It comes with about a six foot long strap. And at the end of that strap is a nice little convenient cam buckle. I really like this strap. It's plenty long, to be honest. If most of the trees in your area are small, you could probably actually cut this strap down and get away with it. What I usually do is I wrap it around the tree two or three times and I have no problem. This camera, alone without the strap, without um, batteries, SD card, etc., weighs uh, in at 10 ounces. The strap weighs an additional three ounces, so together 13 ounces. For me, once I add my batteries in, the SD card in, it comes in at one pound, four ounces. This does 12 megapixel images and 720p HD video. And I'll show you some examples of some of that footage a little bit later on. Now one of the things that really impressed me when I first got this camera is the battery life. Coming from that old camera that used the D-cell batteries and they really didn't last that long to be honest, the first set of batteries that I put in this lasted me nine months. Now I don't know exactly how many pictures that was, but I was getting fairly consistent pictures throughout uh, early spring, all the way to the summer and into the fall. Now that was on picture mode. You may find that if you put on video mode, your Battery life is going to be a lot shorter. If you take a lot of night pictures, your battery is going to probably be shorter. And if you use the time lapse mode that I'll show you in just a few minutes, it will be even shorter yet. And I was using these Amazon Basics batteries. I'll put a link for them and the SD cards that I'm using in the description box down below. Be sure to check that out. I uh, found a pretty good price on some 16 gigabyte SD cards. So guys, let's take a step outside now and let's take a look at some of the actual footage from this trail camera and I want you to see what this little guy can do. YouTube, this is what the Primo's Proof Cam 1 looks and sounds like on high quality video mode. So 
So what's my bottom line on this trail camera? If you haven't already figured it out, I love this little guy. I think it is a great product for a great price. Probably my only complaint about this trail camera actually is that there's no way to program it so that the pictures show up with a name of the trail camera. So for instance, I have two of these trail cameras. I can't name one trail cam one, trail cam two, or I can't name one food plot and bedding area, whatever you want to call them. But you can't name them and have it show up on the pictures. In my opinion, that's probably my only real complaint about these trail cameras. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my review of the Primo's Proof Cam 1. If you did, don't forget to check the description box for the other video about this camera where I go over the settings in more detail. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up and cons consider subscribing down below. And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors.